Well, the agreement is there's going to be a new system for press complaints, and this will be set out in a royal charter, and what there will be is an independent regulator with teeth that will make sure that if the press have broken their own code of professional ethics, then actually there will be an, a, 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 an apology or co a correction on the front page if necessary, and fines of up to a million pounds. So it's a tough new regulator, but also what's important is that this system won't be able to be tampered with, either by the press or politicians, because it will be entrenched in law. Well, we're very close to um, a final agreement. Uh, what is clear, and the facts are that all three major parties support the Prime Minister's Royal Charter approach, uh, that Labour's more extreme press law is off the table, and that we will, I hope, as a result of today, be able to move forward swiftly with a very workable Royal Charter approach, which will mean that we'll have the sort of tough self-regulation of the press that Lord Justice Leveson's report was calling for. We've always felt that it was very important that things couldn't slip back so that the press turn over a new page and say things will be different and then in a few years time the same old bad practices develop. So the idea that this Royal Charter which sets out a proper new regulator is actually immune from tampering because it's been entrenched in law. That's very important and that's going to be decided, we hope and expect, in the House of Lords today. The Royal Charter won't be statutory underpinned. There will be a clause that sits alongside it um, and simply uh, reiterating one of the provisions that's within the, the, the Charter, which is that if it's to be changed, there needs to be a two-third majority of Parliament. The clause neither refers directly to our press charter and it doesn't uh, even refer to the press itself. So I think what we've done in that is made sure that there isn't that amendable framework which, as the Prime Minister quite rightly set out, uh, will be a, a potential for problems in the future and, and the real potential, potential in the future to um, undermine free speech and the role of uh, the press in that. I think what we feel is that what we've got is no interference with the freedom of the press, which is very important indeed, but also protecting the rights of victims. And you know, at the end of the day, what Lord Leveson said is don't have lots of political arguments about this, just sort it. And the victims like the Dowlers and the McCanns, they said don't make this a party political point scoring, just have a fair system for the future. And I think that's what we've done. There's no fudge. I mean, the, the, the facts speak for themselves. Um, this is simply a clause which says that um, charters are not amendable. Uh, that is not statutory underpinning of a press law, which is the uh, position that Labour had, and I, I'm pleased that they've moved away from that. I think that was the wrong approach. It wouldn't have worked. Uh, we now have all three parties supporting the Prime Minister's Royal Charter approach. I think that's right. I think it's workable, and I think it will be a way of taking forward Lord Justice Leveson's uh, very clear principles in, um, in, in a workable manner.